thanks for checking out part two of the chat with Shane Hill. Of course, a big moment for him retiring after 21 years playing professional basketball. It was all over the media, especially on the Gold Coast. A hero calling it a day and uh, just an absolute incredible career from one of the best three-point shooters you'll ever see. You can read all about his amazing career at shanehill.com.au. That's his website. Uh, the fans always loved him. If you were rooting against him, I guess you hated him, but he always had that attitude that made you just want to watch a fiery competitor, as you can see there, to the opposing fans, I guess. But this was the sort of moment that made Shane's reputation all around the world when he was playing for Australia and took on the Dream Team, which at that stage was really just the absolute legends of the game. And this moment here with Charles Barkley made headlines all around the world, summing up the Aussie spirit and summing up Shane Hill, really, which is just no matter what the odds, just have a crack. And Shane always answered the best way he knew how, which was swish, just like that. Something he managed to do many times during his career, but after 21 years, on the 14th of February 2009, it was all going to end at the Convention Centre at Broadbeach on the Gold Coast, the home of the Gold Coast Blaze. And after being there in the morning to film a sit-down interview, it had a different atmosphere just before game time. So the scene was set for a big night of basketball on the Gold Coast and I've got to thank Laura and Wayne for helping me out getting the passes and everything. They gave me free reign as Shane knocks in a three in the warm-up. Uh, took a spot behind the bench there behind the coach as Shane said hello to some young fans and uh, the night was about to start. Thought I'd grab the camera and film a quick chat with him. Mate, the rub down. The rub down before the last moments. How are you feeling? Bit of heat, mate. I need a bit of heat. Warm these old knees up one last time. Does but he do a good job, this fella? Oh, he's a great man, Wongy. Don't worry about that. Magic fingers himself. So I'm ready to go. You are? You pumped? Ready to go. Right. Yeah, a little bit of juice to get going. I'm, I'll be right. Yeah, so everything was good to go. The warm-up shots were all net. And the last few pages of Shane Hill's NBL career were about to be written. Are we ready for your team for Judith? So a huge welcome for the local hero Shane Heal, of course, the last huddle there with his team, the Blaze, and saying good day to the Wollongong Hawks, their last game in the NBL, so it was pretty sad all round. And once the tip-off took place, you wouldn't believe it, but one of the first possessions that the Gold Coast had, Shane Heal went to work. So if you're writing the script, it couldn't have got off to a better start for Shane. But uh, the great thing about making the web show on my own is being able to sit down pretty much in any location and film awesome stuff like this. Was off to a great start. The Hawks and the Blaze going at it. In fact, the Hawks were getting the better of the Gold Coast in the first quarter. That was until Shane showed he didn't just score points, he actually set others up to score as well. So an easy basket there for the Blaze. Another assist, probably one of thousands that Shane has done in his career so far. The crowd were loving it, and they certainly love this. So things weren't looking good for the Wollongong Hawks as Shane started to find his touch, the Blaze taking the lead and uh, the crowd loving it, especially the mascot up there. But here's another example of Shane with another assist, this time to James Harvey finishing off. But the crowd really going crazy when Shane got the ball this time. Yeah, 
there. So everybody in the crowd loving that one. Shane Hill doing what he does best. The big three-point bomb as the Blaze opened up a good lead. And it was at this stage I thought I'd take the camera up into the stands to meet the lady who's been there for 21 years by his side, Shane's wife, Jenny. All right, random interview in the crowd with uh, Jenny. Hello. Hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you very much. How's the hubby doing so far tonight, you think? He's doing well. Well, I got a chance to talk to him this morning and ask him about his career, but what about from your perspective being the supporting wife? How's it been for you? Um, it hasn't been boring. It's been a very interesting journey. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's been I, he's sounded pretty proud of his family today. I guess you must be pretty proud of him, right? I am. Very, very proud of him. He's done, a, he's done an awesome job. It's been, it's been great over the years to watch him, to watch him achieve what he's wanted to achieve. Yeah, it's been what great. Is it's uh, quite inspiring what he's done, isn't it? it is. Yes, I'm very proud of him. What's, what's been a highlight for you, you think? I mean, he said representing Australia in the Olympics, but for you personally, what, what's been a highlight for you as far as what he's achieved? Yeah, probably that too, to represent your country um, four times is, is a, you know, an amazing effort. Yeah. Great to meet you. Yeah, so a nice reminder there that there's family and friends that share the dream as well, just as important. But uh, as the game was winding down, everyone was hoping that Shane would wrap it up by just nailing threes left, right and centre, but it didn't pan out like that. In fact, for a while there, it got pretty scary. The Blaze were going to win, but with the last play of the game, this is what Shane managed to do. So you wouldn't believe it, he opened the game with his trademark three-pointer and he finished the game and his career after 21 years with his trademark three-point shot. So it was awesome to see him getting carried around the court before an adoring crowd. The players and everybody showing their respect to champion like Shane deserves and uh, it was pretty awesome to see him take the microphone and address the crowd to hear what he had to say. You know, the effort that you guys have made, you know, it's a pity that our season wasn't more successful, but I really want to thank Brent and Joyce for having me here, and my teammates, you know, we did have a great year, but, you know, you guys are a bunch of good guys, and I can't wait for the next week. Oh, we a lot of friends here tonight. So before the celebrations got too crazy, I took my chance and had a quick chat with Shane. How are you feeling, champ? Oh, mate, it's fantastic. Um, you know, I certainly didn't expect what everyone gave me tonight, and nice to be able to finally hit that last three-point shot. I was a bit cold, and they weren't dumb, but nice way to be able to finish with a bucket. Good for you, mate. You're a champion. An ornament to the game. Well done. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's probably one of the quickest chats I'll ever film, but I couldn't keep him from all the fans that were waiting to get their photo taken with their hero and say goodbye to truly one of the great legends of Australian basketball, one of the legends of Australian sport, and that's a special moment there for Shane and his family as he says goodbye. And uh, one of the first stories I saw when I got home on Fox Sports, which goes right around the country in Australia, was the story of Shane finishing his career on the Gold Coast in front of a huge home crowd that loved him and let's just relive this last shot, the last shot of Shane's career. All net, which is great. And only one word sums it up. Yeah.